Today's review includes the most anticipated electric models of 2021, given the real possibility of their appearance on the roads. To simplify the structure of the video, the list has been divided into three parts, and let's start with the most popular group of SUV crossovers, which have already been announced for the next year. Just one year after the unveiling of the Compact ID3, which is available only in Europe, Volkswagen is going to enter the global market with its next electric model, the ID4 crossover. The 2021 ID4 that shares the same MEB platform with the previous Hero will start from around $40,000. The dual-motor, all-wheel-drive version can deliver 225 kilowatts output, but this drivetrain will add $3,700 to the price, which is $5,000 less than the Model Y, excluding the government incentives available to Volkswagen. The possible GTX performance trim will be able to hit 60 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds. The company says the 82 kilowatt hour battery pack will be enough for an EPA rated range of 250 miles. Like other models from this line, the Volkswagen ID4 will be offered with a unique interior design, which is called an ID cockpit, that includes two digital screens and an ID light system that runs across the dashboard, providing drivers with a bunch of useful and prompting information. And let's not forget about other electric crossover from the Volkswagen concern, the gorgeous Skoda Enyaq iV, which, sharing the same platform with its sibling, can go up to 316 miles with more generous WLTP estimation. Despite a little bit lower ground clearance, Enyaq will be a good alternative to the ID4 for those who prefer to stay within urban street limits. Audi Q4 e-tron This is the fourth EV from the famous German manufacturer which is expected to be launched in early 2021, probably with a price of $45,000 after incentives. At the same time, the Q4 e-tron and its sportback variant will be the first Audi model using Volkswagen's MED modular platform designed specially for the upcoming electric models. This small luxury SUV crossover is equipped with two electric motors, one on each axle, providing an excellent all-wheel experience due to its combined power of 225 kilowatts and 340 pound-feet of torque. As a result, it will be able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 6.3 seconds. The Q4 e-tron will be powered by an 82 kilowatt hour battery pack, expected to provide a driving range of 280 miles. The vehicle is claimed to support charging up to 125 kilowatts, allowing the 80% charge in about 30 minutes. This sounds like a very good option for those looking for a practical small SUV with good build quality and premium materials. Nissan Ariya The new Ariya will become the second all-electric Nissan model available in the US market. It offers both one motor and two motor configurations. The front-wheel drive version delivers 160 kilowatts output, while the power of the dual motor performance version could reach up to 295 kilowatts. The Nissan Ariya with its extended range battery pack is expected to deliver a driving range of up to 300 miles. The vehicle will come with a minimalist interior, featuring the brand-specific zero-gravity seats for more comfort and less fatigue on the road. As an optional feature, it will be equipped with the ProPilot 2 system, an improved version of the previous ProPilot semi-autonomous technology. The performance trim can speed from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5 seconds, which is fast enough for a mid-sized SUV. Nissan says the base version of the Aria will start at around $40,000 when it enters the US market in 2021. Ford Mustang Mach-E The Mach-E is Ford's electric bet for achieving another leading status in the market. It's the company's first all-electric crossover, which is designed and named after the iconic Mustang car. The name created disapproval for some fans, but the specs of the vehicle speak for themselves. 
The performance version, with the combination of two e-motors, can deliver about 360 kilowatts output and 635 pound-feet of torque, which is enough for a 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in just 3.5 seconds. Other all-wheel drive versions are a little bit slower. The Mach E comes with an EPA estimated range of between 230 and 300 miles, depending on the battery pack and electric motors. Inside, it comes with a streamlined dashboard, featuring a digital instrument cluster and a huge vertically mounted touchscreen that allows for easy access to the system's array of apps and features. In addition, Ford's next generation Sync infotainment system is designed to fully customize every driver's experience. The base version costs $42,900 and along with standard versions will be available by 2021, while more powerful performance trims will be ready for the next year. Mercedes-Benz has plans to launch 10 new electric cars in the next couple of years, three of which will most probably be available in 2021 under the EQ brand. When the German manufacturer unveiled the EQA concept back in 2017, it was a compact hatchback, but then the company changed its vision by going to the crossover version. The EQA is based heavily on the second-generation GLA crossover, so it's expected to have similar dimensions but with more futuristic styling. The EQA will be equipped with Mercedes-Benz's latest MBUX infotainment system that offers twin display screens, advanced voice activation system, and extra unique features. The car will be available with front-wheel and dual-motor four-wheel drive options, offering an expected range of 250 miles. The price has not yet been revealed, but we can expect it to cost about $50,000. The production version of the Mercedes-Benz EQS will be based on the Vision EQS concept revealed in 2019. It will be the S-Class of electric vehicles, offering a luxury design and a spacious interior. The vehicle will be built on a new platform, offering more interior space than in an S-Class. The EQS will feature the latest in-car technology, including a new version of Mercedes' latest infotainment system as well. The luxury sedan with a dual-motor powertrain is expected to deliver 350 kilowatts output and 560 pound-feet of torque. It's claimed to have a decent driving range of up to 435 miles. The car is designed to provide a comfortable and quiet driving experience while being stable at high speed. With smart rear-wheel steering that can also be found in the new S-Class, it will become more maneuverable in urban areas. The price is yet to be announced. Besides, there is a possibility for the new Mercedes-Benz EQB compact SUV to be launched in 2021. There's not much information yet, but it will be based on the premium crossover GLB. Audi e-tron GT The 2021 Audi e-tron GT is a bold-looking and speed-inspired electric car that shares its core DNA with the Porsche Taycan family. Having all of the agility, acceleration, and impressive handling of the Taycan Turbo S, it's a bit more comfortable and relaxing on long drives. We can expect it to come with two electric motors, one on each axle, providing excellent all-wheel drive capabilities and producing a combined 475 kilowatts output for the RS version. It will take about three seconds for that model to sprint to 60 miles per hour. With all its sporty essence, the Audi e-tron GT remains true to the tradition of luxury, which, in accordance with the requirements of the times, is based on green technologies. It comes with a unique automatically switching two-speed transmission system on the rear axle, offering high-speed maneuverability and improved dynamics. Audi claims the electric GT can achieve a driving range of 250 miles, though the real EPA figures could be slightly different. All this thrilling performance will presumably be available for around $100,000, though we still have to wait for Audi's official announcement. Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo 
Just like the previous model from today's list, the Taycan Cross Turismo embodies all the advanced technologies we can expect in a modern car, pretending to become a game-changer in the EV world. The model will share its chassis and electrical components with its sibling sedan already available in the market. The Cross Turismo will combine the high-voltage performance of the Taycan sedan with the practicality of a wagon, offering much more cargo space and more flexibility in terms of the seat configuration. So far, Porsche has announced only the Turbo S version of the Taycan Cross Turismo, with a dual-motor architecture delivering a combined power of up to 565 kilowatts, though we can also expect a slightly less powerful Turbo and 4S modifications. This beast will be able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 2.5 seconds. The Taycan Cross Turismo is expected to have the similar all-electric range and the ability to charge its battery to 80% in as little as 22 and a half minutes. The sales are expected to start in early 2021 with an estimated pricing tag of more than $150,000 for a top version, while the lower modifications will obviously be significantly less. One of the nicest things of electric revolution is the opportunity for new startups with fresh out-of-the-box ideas to enter the auto industry. We will finally see two new long-awaited startups cars on the road in 2021, the first one of which is the Lucid Air. It was revealed this year and is expected to go on sale in three different modifications in 2021, while the cheapest version will be available in 2022. Apart from the outstanding and luxurious exterior, the air has a lot of surprises hidden inside of the cabin. The front cabin offers a floating 34-inch glass cockpit panel that curves elegantly ahead of the driver and displays information in the driver's sightline. Besides, it features a retractable central touchscreen that glides away to reveal a hidden storage compartment. The rear cabin offers an expansive lounge area with class-leading legroom and the executive rear seats that can recline 45 degrees. A glass canopy sweeping over the cabin creates a superfluous sense of space and gives a stunning view of the open sky above. The vehicle also offers a front trunk of 10 cubic feet of volume, the largest of any existing electric vehicle. Lucid Air will come already equipped with a rich set of driver assistance technologies. The Grand Touring version of the Lucid Air is announced to have an EPA-estimated range of up to 517 miles, which will be the highest range of any existing EV on the market in the second quarter of 2021, before the launch of the Model S Plaid, offering a range of more than 520 miles. It becomes possible due to the capacious battery pack of 113 kilowatt hour and an excellent aerodynamic design, while the DC fast charging connection allows it to accumulate an incredible 300 miles of driving range in just 20 minutes. The highest dream edition, coming with a dual motor all wheel drive architecture, develops an enormous 805 kilowatts output and can boost the vehicle from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds. As to pricing, the base version coming in 2022 is priced at $77,400, while the more powerful modifications available in 2021 will start at $95,000. To properly wrap up today's list, it's necessary to mention a couple of pickup trucks as well, which are to reshape this very competitive category. There are a lot of promising concepts we can expect in the near future. But right now, only a few models can really appear on the roads in 2021. First, let's start with the Rivian R1T, which is going to be on sale from June 2021 with a launch edition priced at $75,000. Later, presumably in January 2022, a more affordable Explore trim will join the lineup, along with the mid-adventure version. Each version of the R1T can achieve a distance of more than 300 miles and comes with an electric motor at each wheel, allowing an amazing all-wheel drive experience. The most powerful version, delivering 562 kilowatts power output, is claimed to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3 seconds.
with its 11,000 pounds towing capacity and the payload capacity of 1,760 pounds, the R1T will remain the most powerful and efficient pickup truck, at least until the production version of the Tesla Cybertruck hits the market in 2022. Besides, the almost forgotten Hummer badge will appear in the market again at the end of 2021 as a model name of GMC's new electric pickup truck. The most powerful Edition 1 version, which will be the first available modification, offers impressive performance but comes with a high price tag of $112,500, while more affordable versions will come out only in 2022. As a bonus, we would like to mention Tesla's upgraded full-size flagship sedan called Model S Plaid, which will be available in late 2021. Being officially announced at Tesla's Battery Day event, it promises to set standards with its three-motor drivetrain offering more than 1,100 horsepower. It's able to hit 60 miles per hour in incredibly less than two seconds. The Model S Plaid can achieve a driving range of more than 520 miles, and with Tesla's new cutting-edge battery, it will be hard to be taken on. However, customers must spend $140,000 for this beast. Today's bonus list covers BMW's new X5-sized electric sports activity vehicle, offering impressive performance similar to the Tesla Model X. The interior of the BMW iX, in its turn, wows with its design and material choice. The vehicle that's expected to be available in late 2021 in Europe comes with a cockpit dominated by a massive screen, which curves away to the center of the car so it's pointed towards the driver. The question is if people would like to spend about $80,000 on a car with a somehow disappointing front look. So this was our list of the most anticipated EVs we could expect next year on the roads. Let us know what your favorite model is by posting a comment below. And please don't forget to subscribe. We will be back soon with more new interesting content.